Hey Cancer, welcome to Queen Air Bender Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-November general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that everyone is doing well. So Cancer, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song I heard was Smile by Nat King Cole. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow the reading if you so choose to. Somebody's name could be Natalie, Nathan, or someone's last name could be Cole. Somebody's name could be Nicole also is what I'm getting. <clears throat> so I don't know that song very well, but I just, I heard the tune in my head and I knew that, you know, and of course they kept saying smile. And I, I should be ashamed of myself, right? Why don't I know Nat King Cole? But when I put it in there, I never really, you know how you know a song, but you never really know all the lyrics. You're just singing along because you've heard it in passing. I don't know the song verbatim per se, but in the entrance of, you know, the beginning of the song, he's saying smile, even if your heart is breaking or something like that. Again, I'll leave the song in the description box below. So all you have to do is just click it. It'll take you directly to the song. The overall message that I'm getting is that for some of you all, you, you've been going through some heartbreaks, some, some difficult times emotionally. But they're saying that there's going to be something to smile about. Just keep pushing through it. Because that's what he's saying. He's he's giving all these scenarios about regardless of this happens, regardless of that happens, keep pushing through. Just keep smiling. And that's not to say to ignore your emotional distress or to ignore, you know, what you're going through. It's just more so saying that, because I, I don't know why, but it, visually I'm seeing like a rainbow. It's like, you know, after every rainstorm, after every storm, there's a rainbow, right? So it's just giving me the vibe that, yeah, you've been through a lot, but it looks like, you know, something is going to shift for you. There's some type of changes that's going to be positive after you've been through some hell. Because I feel like you've been through hell and back when it comes to matters of the heart. And, and, and recently for a lot of you all, okay? So in your pre show you had major arcana Piscean energy. Also, was it Pisces? Um, Pisces, Virgo. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aries also. And that's what I got so far with that. Also, um, yeah, Virgo, Virgo, because you have the magician, Virgo and Gemini. Okay, so let's see what we get for you guys today. Let's change the card at the top and the bottom of the deck. And as always, you guys know there's absolutely no reversals in either one of my decks. So once I start shuffling, if I get reversals, I will read it as such. So now currently at the bottom of the deck, you have, yeah, <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. And I said some of you guys could be dealing with Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, strong Taurus energy right here. Now, it's interesting because in your pre-shuffle, you have the Five of Pentacles in the middle of those cards that I mentioned. You have the Hangman, Piscean Energy. Pisces is also Aquarius. And the Hangman is talking about being stuck in limbo, you know, staying stagnant in the situation. And in this deck particularly, the Hangman, he has Pentacles falling out of his pocket. So for some of you all, you may have been staying stuck like the Hangman in limbo in a situation because you feared losing some type of um, monetary stability. Is what I'm getting for some of you all. Also, you got strong earth placements in your chart. But what I'm getting overall is that some of you all, male or female, you may have stayed in a situation for financial comforts. That's not to say that you are weak-minded or anything like that. It's like it's something that you've built with someone. Because she's a queen. And a queen always has a castle. This is something that you, you're very proud of, you've built, and put a lot of time, effort, and energy into. And it's like you're trying to hold on to that. And it's interesting because the name of the song is smiling. Look how she's looking. She is not smiling. But it does look like she has a bit of a smirk there, doesn't it? You know, so for a lot of you all, if your fear was not being able to, you know, maintain your lifestyle and things like that, it looks like you're going to be fine. So if that's what you're hanging in there for, you may want to go ahead and, and release yourself from those shackles, those constraints. And when I say shackles in this deck, specifically, the hangman is bound by chains around his ankles. That's what I'm getting there. OK, so let's see what we get for you guys today. OK, we're going to shuffle the deck upright a couple of times until we get your major arcana, which would be the um, chariot. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for both, okay? So let's just part the deck red. Look that. <laughs> you got the King of Cups. So you got the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Cups. So I'm going to tell you what I'm getting from this. Some of you all was dealing with someone who was emotionally, um, could have been emotionally abusive because they knew that you, it's something with your finances. You may not have felt as comfortable or you guys may have a joint account or something like that. You could be dealing, like I said, with a fellow water sign, cancer like yourself, Pisces, Scorpio, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? But whatever the case, you see how they're facing the same direction? 
it looks like this person, and this is a pair, you know, even though they're different elements, this is still a king and a queen. That's a pair. That's a couple. So it just looks like, yeah, stability. Stability, stability. Because, again, kings and queens, they're both, they, you know, they both hold positions of hierarchy and power. So there could have been some power plays, emotional power plays. Because if you look at him right here, he's sitting here like he's unbothered, like he's unscathed. Nothing's, you know, nothing's concerning him. But that foot is in that water. Okay, and water talks about the emotions and feelings. So they're trying to stay above float, uh, you know, stay afloat above water. But that foot in that damn water. So this this situation is bothering them also. <clears throat> and also, like I said, with the song Smile, if you look at him, looks like he has a bit of a smirk, but he's not smiling either. So I feel like you and your person are both. And look at that. Just as I said that, your candle just went out. You see that? Yeah. It looks like time has run out in this situation. That's kind of what I'm getting. Because the smoke, you know, the fire is going out. It just seems like in this situation, look at that. And I'm seeing, look how it's peeking up right there. It's in the very back. You got the Queen of Cups. So you got the King of Cups and Queen of Cups. So some of you guys could be married to the, wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. And at the very back, you have the Emperor. Aries, Major Arcana, so it's a definite energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with Aries. Um, I'm going to say this again because you see how he's behind her. This person, some of you all could be standing with someone who is in control or has some strong control over the finances. Because he's behind her as we're holding the cards. Which means this person has, you know, seemingly some type of authoritative energy over the finance. Or you may feel that's the case. Whatever the case, I feel like there's emotions tied into the situation for both individuals involved. Even if it's, I feel like this person is very good at making it seem like they're not bothered. But I'm telling you, with that foot immersion in water, this person is bothered too. You both are going through it. But this person doesn't want to show their emotions and feelings. They want to, you know, basically seem like they're in control or over everything. Because the emperor is someone who is very, very much, um, they want to always emit. They always want to show that they're in control of a situation. Like they have power and dominance over a situation, right? And I always tell you guys, anytime you have an emperor, the empress is never too far behind. Divine counterpart, same sex, however it applies to you. If you resonate with the energy of twin flames, this person could be your twin flame or you thought this person was your twin flame. But this is definitely a spouse also, right? So for some of y'all, you are definitely married to this person because you got a lot of king and queen energy here. So there's definitely a marriage for some of you all or a long-term commitment to the point where it feels like, you know, you guys would have been married. And then you have the two of cups. That's what I'm saying. So I feel like you both are in your feelings about the situation, but someone feels left out of the cold, Okay. Five Pentacles. And didn't I say I seen this in the beginning? Lack, loss, abandonment, being left out in the cold. I feel like someone is still very much in love, but it just seems like the spark is going out. Because remember, like I said, when I picked up my candle, you guys seen how the flame was going out? Then there's a little spark right there in between them. It feels like the spark is going out and, and somebody knows it's time to leave, but they fear being left out in the cold. You see how their clothes are ragged and run down? It's like she has her hand out like she... Someone doesn't want to have to go from being comfortable to needing handouts. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm getting there. Mm -hmm. And it looks like he has control. Like, you see how he has the upper hand and it's like she's asked for a handout. For some of y'all, this could be a situation where you were a female and you just don't want to leave a situation. Or for the longest, you weren't leaving a situation because A, you put in work in the situation. And then B, it just seems like you don't, you still have love for this person. There's a lot of finances possibly involved in this situation. Okay? With Ten of Pentacles, you guys built a lot together. You guys worked together and built some type of solid foundation or what was supposed to be a solid foundation. Because that's what Ten of Pentacles is all about, something abundant. It just seems like something has run its course. And when I say run its course, you see how the Pentacles have runneth, runneth over it, okay? This um chest, and they're coming out. Well, they were not coming out. They've already fallen out of the chest. This person could also be trying to snake you. And, uh, and when I say that, you have two mice here. But they're so big, it makes me think about rats. And this is, you guys know this is my rat bastard energy when you see rats. Rat bastard, like somebody's trying to get you out of some money. They just want to give you these couple little coins, but they want to keep the bulk of it to themselves. That's what I'm saying. I feel like somebody, there's power plays here. And some of you all are trying to make sure you're not just being tossed a couple coins here while they keep the bulk of everything. Because there could be some joint assets is what I'm getting. Okay. So let's go through the day. Yeah, somebody wants to win. 
Six of, uh, six of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Individual could be involved. You have the World card, but somebody's moving away. That's what I'm saying. It's time for something, some cycle to end. With the World card, one cycle ending, so a brand new cycle can begin. Travel, distance, forward, moving. It's time for you to move forward. And you're going to have victory. Yes. Two of Wands right after that. Choosing a path to go in. Absolutely. So it's time for, it just looks like it's time for, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Look at this. You got the six. You just had that six of wands. You got the six of swords. Moving away from something that's no longer fulfilling. You see how she's moving from the dark towards the light? The cards before this, you literally had, you're going to have to have the strength. Look at that. Some of you all were fearing. Okay? Because for strength to come up, you there was some energy of fear there. Right? Fear-based thoughts. And it's requiring your strength. Some of y'all were fearing leaving a situation because you felt like you would be the five of pentacles left out in the cold without, without you know, any stability. And some of y'all could also be dealing with a Leo, okay? Because this does resonate with the energy of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, specifically Sun, Sign with the Major Arcanas. Something's ending. Death, okay? For sure. So let's go ahead and find your Major Arcana again, the Chariot. And we didn't get far. So this is something that's going to happen fairly soon, or it could have just happened recently. Now, we did have the Death card. That's Major Arcana for Scorpio. Clearly, Scorpio season, right? So, for some of you all, this, this took place in Scorpio season or it's wrapping up during Scorpio, you know, when Scorpio season is wrapping up. You have the Four of Swords. You see how he has his armor? And this is this is a warrior. This is someone who's put up a good fight, but they know it's time for them to pull back and retreat from this situation. And like I said, look at that. Ten of Cups, yeah. Wow. There you go. So, I'm going to say this again for some of you all. You're pulling back. You're meditating on the situation. There's some heartbreak definitely involved in this because even though it's the four of swords right over him, it's three. Three of swords is heartbreak, sorrow, sadness, grief. You see how she's looking and she's facing the direction of the four of swords. Some of you all have decided that you're going to retreat from this situation, possibly find out about third party, okay, because you do have two women face-to-face -face unless you're dealing with the same-sex situation. Could have found out or could have came face-to-face -face with a third party. You, your person, or a third party's um, first, middle, or last initial could be C M N Y H J U. Okay? But the Ten of Cups, you know, the Ten is the end of every cycle in numerology. And it seems like, like I said, I feel like someone doesn't want to have to leave a home or something with monetary. They don't want to see somebody else move into that home. Because if you notice that they're both outside, you get what I'm saying? This is your energy also. Somebody doesn't want to, somebody, oh, okay, okay, I'm getting a message also. Somebody may have possibly not wanted to move out of a situation because they felt like I built this home, I built this with this person, and I'd be damned if I see somebody else move in. Yeah, because I just heard Ring the Alarm um, by Beyonce, and she says, Ring the Alarm, I've been going too long, I'd be damned if I see another chick on your arm, and it's another chick right here. Listen to, that's what she's, and, she, and in the song Ring the Alarm, she's screaming at I believe that's the words, but I, I know I heard the part. I'll be damned if I see another chick on your arm. She's saying, ring the alarm. I don't know if she said I've been going too long. Whatever, you guys look the song up. But she says, ring the, ring the alarm, I've been going too long. I'll be damned. I know for a fact she said that. I'll be damned if I see another chick on your arm. So it's like somebody doesn't want to leave a situation, even though there's heartbreak here, because they'll be damned if everything that they built with someone they allow this other person to move in on it. You get what I'm saying? Again, this could be you or your... Some, I feel like it's you because you do have this energy. I feel like you just put a lot of time, effort, and energy into a situation and somebody shit on it. <clears throat> you have the Ace of Wands. Um, a brand new start. Ace is always a brand new start. Again, Leo says Aries energy right here. This is a very phallic symbol. If you look at the tip of it, it looks like a penis head. I feel like you could have been dealing, you could have found out some heartbreak, okay? Because you would have found out that your person was sleeping with someone else. Multiple someone else's because there's three swords over there, right? Let's see what's up under here. I'm curious. What'd I say? Early on, I said, hey, man, someone just being comfortable. He's upside down, but yet he looks very graceful and comfortable in this situation. Piscean energy, Aquarius energy also. Hangman hey being stuck in limbo. Like I said, I feel like someone is not wanting to move forward because they don't want to relinquish some type of hold. Because even if you look at her energy and keep in mind, this is you guys, Major Arcana, is look at her face. She's like, I'd be damned. This is literally giving me ring the alarm. Beyonce energy, like, I'd be damned if I remove myself from this throne. 
I just feel like there's an energy that a lot of people have put in a lot of time, effort, and energy into building a home, making a home, sacrificing, only for someone else to come in and reap the benefits is what I'm getting. So let's part the deck. Yep, 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 yep. So you have major arcana of the devil. Some of you all could be dealing with a Capricorn individual, but also karmic contract is coming to an end with someone is what I feel like. You see how right here he has this contract that scroll, but it has flames on it. It's definitely someone that you're either married to or bound to. That again, this is a very karmic energy. You see how the wand is going in the direction of the devil. Also, like I said, a phallic symbol, a direct penis, right? If you look at it, it's going right in a direction to this this karmic. So this your person could have entertained some type of karmic connection with someone. And you all see it for what it is and know that it wasn't anything serious. Not to say, not to make an excuse of it. And then you have to, I just seen a tower. Yeah, that house coming crumbling down. Not to make an excuse of it, but some of you all felt like, yeah, I, yeah, you knew your person was juggling. Absolutely. Six of cups in reverse. There's a third party tiptoeing off the premises. Okay. In reverse, soulmates. Um, people that you know you, you have a great deal of history with. You could be a June cancer. But also, this is a reconciliation you have in reverse because there was some juggling. One, two, three ways right here. Third party. So, as I was saying, I feel like that's not to make an excuse, but some of you all know that this was just something that this person was doing just out of sleeping with people. I just keep hearing investment. Somebody's invested a lot. That's what I keep hearing. Because I know it's going to be people in the comments like, well, I don't care. I wouldn't stay with this person. I'm not saying that you would, but you guys are seeing what I'm getting here. It just seems like somebody is refusing to leave empty-handed. Cause they, cause they've also invested in this, in, in building a home, a structure. Bottom of the deck, yeah. So you have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Um, Knights are either going into battle, or coming out of battle, sort of, yes, yeah, sort of down. No, the sword is down. So whatever, I feel like whenever somebody decides to speak on a situation or address the issue, it's not gonna be pretty. Remember, I said with the Beyonce song, "Ring Alarm." She was scream. Listen to the song. She was screaming. Like, I'd be damned if I see another chick on your arm. And upright, this is someone who's going to battle. Look at him. He's upset and angry. But in reverse, it's just like, it's even worse. Because whatever's coming out of this person's mouth is just like word vomit. And it's, it could be hostile. You know? Let's get a clarifier for the four. Of, okay. You got seen it flip down. Four of swords. Ace of pentacles in reverse. Let's see what's up under it. Yeah. I told you. There could have been some third party stuff. And then, you know, this person tried to have some, they they tried to come in and, okay, so I feel like your person is trying to work things out, because remember we had six cups in reverse, I feel like a lot of you all are not accepting it, because your arms are crossed, you're not taking that cup, and then also, you will be damned if you see another chick on this person's arm, or, or whoever, how are the supplies? That's not, again, I'm not saying that you're jealous, but it just looks like, if this person is trying to offer it to somebody else, you'll be damned if this third party person comes in and interferes with things. But it looks like the situation is done and over with. And also someone could be fearing losing money. Because with the hand up, he would be holding this pinnacle. It's in his possession. In reverse, he's losing it. So some of you all are laying back, you know, trying to think about your options is what I'm getting. My apologies, I got a call. So, yeah, somebody's trying to, you know, they're pulling back and trying to think about, really thinking about deeply what, because source communication and mental, right? Really trying to think about what they stand to lose if they leave this situation, is what I'm getting. Okay? So, let's get a clarify for the Ten of Cups. Bottom of the deck, absolutely. Something is ending, though. Something is ending. You have the Death card, that's Major Arcana, that's a definite ending. Major Arcanas is definite. This also resonates with the energy of Scorpio. And that's what I was saying. I feel like something that happened in Scorpio season. You or this person, you and a third party may have come face to face. This could also be a reality check. I just heard shadowing. Like you, your shadow self. It's, it's something. For some of y'all, this could be a reality check about the situation. Like realizing that it's time for something to be dead and done. There could be children involved in the situation. A child or children. Again, Scorpio, you could be dealing with Scorpio person or Scorpio season, you know, could play a strong role in this situation, okay? And I said that earlier, so let's get a clarifier. Yeah, because even this is the 10, and Scorpio season starts in October 10. Let's get a clarifier for the 10 of cups for Cancer. 
Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, look at that. I'm telling you. Something has come to the light. I'm telling you. Look at that. So you got the Ten of Cups. And then right here, you have the moon. Things hidden, things unknown, things we don't have clarity about. Piscean energy also. If you notice right here, there's a lobster coming to the surface. Some type of truth is coming to the surface. And it could really hurt like hell. Because you know, lobster claws snaps and it can hurt you. I'm telling you, I feel like just look at this energy. And I know the three of wands does not mean third party. But just look at the, you have to look at the cards that's coming with so, again, I feel like somebody is finding out about a third party. And it could be involving a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. Again, I'm going to say three because you have three of wands right here. And even though this is the four of swords, you have the three right over him. I'm telling you. Let's see what's behind there. Six of wands being somebody wants to be victorious. Um, you could have been dealing with a fire sign who always wants to be the center of attention. Community dick. Community, you know. Whatever the case. I'm just getting. Because I'm saying dick specifically because, it's, you know, you have strong masculine energy here. But then you have the world card in reverse. And remember, early on, you had the world card of right. To have it in reverse, that means the cycle has not ended. You're going through the same cycle over and over again with this person. This is a continuous cycle with this individual. You can be dealing with a Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, also Scorpio. Again, Scorpio energy again. Leo energy again. It's just like constantly going through the same cycle over and over again with this individual. And I feel like it's like you just keep finding things out. Uh, even this person I feel like is very secretive also but I just want you to see this because I don't uh, I hate giving heavy readings because it just seems like it's just, just a bunch of negative stuff but if you look at these energies together there's the only thing that's positive here is the ten of cups but then look at what's you know what's clarifying it the moon so something it's something hidden about your home life your situation what you thought was your happily ever after it's something hidden there you know it's just really giving me the vibe that someone found out. Yep. Someone found out about a, another party and to turn the happy home life upside down because Pentacles is the stability, the actual foundation that the home is built on. And someone is finding out that their foundation was built on lies. But then also someone feels like they stand to lose a lot by leaving this situation is what I'm getting also. Okay. So Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and the visuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.